In this video, I'm going to show off 12 Borderlands 2 glitches that still work in 2024. Some of these have been around forever, and others have been discovered much more recently. Enjoy the video, and let me know in the comments if there are any that you think should have been included. The first few glitches only work on specific characters, and then later in the video, I'll focus on glitches that any character can do. Now, on to the first glitch. The first glitch that I'm going to be showing off today is the damage transfer glitch. And how to do this, you'll need a Pimpernel and a high damage rocket launcher, preferably the World Burn or the Ahab. Now how this works is the damage from the rocket launcher, the 56 million, will get transferred to each of the pellets except the middle one from the Pimpernel. These pellets that spread off to the side will now do that rocket launcher's damage. This works best if you have an empty rocket launcher because then it will also add money shot bonus. When I offhand them, now, they change to explosive. That is because each one of these side projectiles is now doing the damage of this rocket launcher. 69 million damage is on each one of those balls. And then if you switch to the world burn, now it's fire because it's doing the world burns damage. It almost does nothing to him. But when I switch these around and do it, now each of those balls is doing the rocket launcher damage. The next glitch for Salvador. The next glitch is Salvador's infinite money shot, or infinite as long as your duration is going. The Fibber is the best weapon because it uses 9 bullets after it ricochets, so you'll just get the most amount of damage out of it. But you need any Vladoff rocket launcher that consumes 1 bullet per shot. Because of how Vladoff rocket launchers work, when they're in your left hand and you shoot it once, now your right hand gun will consume infinite ammo. You can turn any gun into an infinity, basically. If you time it right, you can get it stuck to where you're infinitely money shotting. And then right here, you're gonna shoot them both at the same time, but keep holding down the fibber after. Now you can sit here and when it's critical, you're doing ridiculous amounts of damage. 62 million. So imagine that on any raid boss or enemy with a large amount of health. You can do it while you're in fight for your life as well. This next glitch for Salvador is the easiest to do because all you're going to need is a amp shield that isn't the B shield. Any amp shield except for the B works for this. This random amp shield that I have has an amp damage of 1.5 million. And every time you save and quit, that number is going to keep adding onto each other. Now I'm going to have 3 million amp damage. Now I have 4.5 million. So every time you save and quit, it adds on that same number. Now this also only works on Salvador because it only applies to your left-handed weapon. You can do this at any level in the game as long as you have an amp shield. Here, I'll use the gunnering. The gunnering is a terrible weapon, but when used with this glitch, it can be made... The best gun in the game now it does 77 million damage that's about 20 times what this amp shield would do beforehand 39 million damage this is the easiest glitch that you can do on salvador jolts dude made a great video explaining how this glitch works and this is just the basic version of it i only save quit i don't know 10 times and i'm already doing that much more damage so if you did this a hundred times, you could easily take down any raid boss in the game. There's another 37 million damage from an amp shield that's supposedly only supposed to do 1.5 million, and this only does 11 million. The next glitch that I'm showing off in this video isn't as much of a glitch as it is just a huge skip for Digistruct Peak. I'll show off two different ways you can go. To start, I'll show how to skip all the way through OP10. Something weird about Digistruct Peak is that you don't need to kill every enemy to progress. Let's say you're at OP9 and want to make it to OP10. Instead of having to run through the entire map and fight the final boss at the end, this works with almost any character. However, Salvador makes it so much easier. You want to rocket jump up here. As you can see, there's the final boss arena right there. Now, this is definitely intentional. I don't know if it's a dev skip or what the thought process was on this, but there's no invisible wall as long as you jump high enough. So 
get the grenades down and rocket jump and you can clear this gap straight to the final boss it doesn't seem like he's gonna spawn as soon as you walk on this platform they'll start spawning so i'll use the damage transfer glitch again it doesn't really matter that you go down because you can still do it in fight for life and there's how you clear op levels insanely quick i think i should get a pop-up in a second but there you go that's all you have to do you only have to kill the last boss and i'll also show you how to skip the early op levels right now in the early op levels you don't have to fight that final boss at the end instead you'll get to an arena where you have to fight the assassins there's another pretty ridiculous skip to get past almost every section of the game where you don't have to fight anything. This also works with any character the, except Krieg because Krieg's just too heavy for this. Where you're aiming to get though, you need to just get up to this platform, that little section right there. All right, so this next skip as you jump up to this section and then you're able to use this rail to grenade jump. And then you'll kind of phase through this and then just walk straight through this wall. There's kind of a path it'll take you through. And there you go. You've already skipped a majority of the map. You can rocket jump right over this wall. I think the easiest way to do this is then jump over to this building and then jump up to this section. And you should fall and then run across and then run across one more time you'll make it right down to here and now see look there's the assassin's arena and i still haven't had to fight anything yet do a little jump up to here and once you make it here you want to stick to this edge the best you can you can jump down here and just keep making your way across as long as you stay in this section you really shouldn't have a problem use a little grenade jump here all right now you can double grenade jump Oh, I even overshot it. Okay, as soon as you land on this bridge, jump in here, and there you go. You're all the way to the assassins without having to fight anything. I honestly recommend this for console. On PC, you can just bump your OP level up if, if you don't want to have to go through every single OP level. On console, since you can't really do that, I recommend doing this. You could clear OP 1 through 10 in probably about an hour with Salvador, and it will take longer with other characters, but with some practice, all of those jumps are relatively easy. Even though it might look unassuming, this turret is the only thing that you need for this glitch. The only two things you need are Unstoppable Force and Shock and Awe. You're gonna come stand next to it, do the shock thing that I talked about, as many times as you want and as you'll see there's no kill skill actually popping up after you do it for a few times you'll slowly get an insane amount of speed i made a video on this channel where i ran through the entire map with this glitch i ran from wind shear waste all the way to heroes pass in two minutes now that i have a decent amount of stacks you have super speed i cleared that gap without jumping even when you die, when you respawn, you're still gonna have this super speed. The other thing is, you also regenerate your shield insanely fast. As you can see, my shield is regenerating so fast, you can't even tell that it's going down. Fast travel anywhere, I still have this insane movement speed, and the only way to cancel it is by safe quitting. This glitch has been around for a long, long time. All you need is release the beast. When your health is at 33%, the way that you know your health is at 33%, now that there's that red triangle, you pull it and then teleport into the vehicle during the animation and get out. And it's as simple as that. Now you're absolutely invincible. I can blow myself up with a rocket launcher and nothing's gonna happen to me. Even damage over time effects do nothing to you. I can sit here, the bully mongs don't do anything to me. I can still kill them, but they just can't do anything to me. All right, let's go, I'll go test in the dust just to see if changing areas. Okay, so that is something. When you fast travel, this glitch will be over. So you do have to stay in the same area. Just to show you one more time, get to 33% health, you release the beast, teleport into your vehicle, and then once you hop out, 
you're invincible. And it's as easy as that. Now for this next Kree glitch, this only works on PC. This skill, where you hit yourself in the face, you really need this for any melee build because it gives you 250% damage. If you have a class mob that boosts this, it can go all the way up to 400%. This is very needed for a melee build. However, when you hit yourself in the face, it stuns you, it does damage to you. It's really unpleasant, honestly. The way to cancel this, it only works on PC. I've tested it out on console. There's just really no way to do this. But as soon as you see your buzz axe go up, drop your weapon and it will cancel the melee. So I'll show it off one more time. There you go. Drop the weapon as soon as you see it and you won't hit yourself. This one's also extremely easy. So this is what you'd have to do on console, but it just doesn't work. As you see the buzz axe go out, I drop the weapon but you still end up hitting yourself in the face. Now let's look at the glitches that are universal and any character can do. The first one is in the Fight for Sanctuary DLC. You wanna head to Doll Abandon. This glitch gives you a way to always have double damage. So I'll show it off with a, there, there's the Gunnerang again, perfect. Now you wanna take a car over to this specific spot where there's gas. You wanna position your car as far as you can get it to right about there. Stand where you're in this gas. If you're in this gas and you get in your car while you have the gas on, now I have this effect around me at all times, even though I'm not in the gas anymore. I'm always gonna have double damage. Two million damage right there. Two million damage, even though the gun only does one million. This is an extremely easy glitch to do. The only annoying thing is that you're gonna have this gas effect on your screen the entire time. All right, even when you fast travel, you still have double damage. I can see the gas effect on my screen. The only way to get rid of this is once you save quit and load back in, it's not gonna be there anymore. All right, now it's gone. For the next glitch, this is the element swap glitch. This works with any weapons that have projectiles such as the Uncamped Herald, the Interfacer, the twister is the easiest to show this off. Let's say I want to make my Unkempt Herald do corrosive damage. And now the way you're gonna do this is you need to shoot the Unkempt Herald and then shoot the conference call before the bullets hit. That sign back there is gonna be my target. I'm gonna shoot, switch. So I shot the Unkempt Herald. I switched to the conference call, the corrosive conference call, and then shot the bullets from the conference call. So now, when we go to look at the unkempt herald bullets that just hit, you can see each of these projectiles are now doing corrosive damage. Now, all of the twister bullets are doing corrosive damage, even though when you usually shoot it, they do shock. Now, let's go over one of the easiest and most useful glitches, the double shot glitch. I'm gonna use the world burn for example because it's a slow shooting gun. So usually you shoot one bullet and then you have to wait a bit before you can shoot your second one. Even though this is a pretty high fire rate world burn, there's still a bit of a gap between these. So the way to double shot, hold down shoot and then hold down reload and then melee. So hold down shoot, reload, melee. And you need to just keep holding down the shoot button and they both come out at a relatively quick speed. It just takes practice to get used to hitting the buttons in the right order. The next glitch that I'm gonna be showing is one of the most popular and most well-known. You wanna head to Hater's Folly and make it to Master Gi. The only things that you're gonna need for this are quite a few grenades and a longbow singularity. Master Gi is one of the most difficult raid bosses in the game. However, this glitch makes him extremely easy to take down. You're gonna wanna open the gate and make sure you stand behind the gate. You don't wanna go into the arena yet. I'm gonna take my time. Maybe one more, all right. Now we're gonna launch right there. There we go, that one was a little bit nicer. Now that he's in a very nice spot, right near this gate, I'm gonna walk into the arena and then I'm gonna punch him and throw down two more singularities. And the gate should just crush him, just like that. Especially being one of the hardest raid bosses in the game, this just makes it so much easier 
This is an XP glitch. The thing about this is you do have to wait for Sanctuary to be in the air or else you are not able to do this. You want to make sure you have the Rock Paper Genocide mission open with the dummy. You want to wiggle your way up onto this and then now you'll see you can kind of jump through the roof. Now that's the next spot you want to go to. Just there you go, jump right onto that and then now you're out of bounds. Any character except Krieg possibly can do this. So you toss down a grenade, do a little jump into here, and you want to land right on this edge. This is where you need to be a little more careful. You want to stick to this edge as close as you can. One other thing if you didn't know, Marcus is actually just a weapon vending machine. Stay on the edge as close as you can. Stay on the edge, stay on the edge. You have to be especially careful because you need to make sure you stay on that. Now, inch your way in, and now you're in here. Jump up to this thing, and then just land right up here. Now, when you kill him, this is how you get infinite XP. An infinity with a B shield might be a little more ammo effective. The Lady Fist is the quickest way to kill him. And as you can see, my XP is slowly going up. I'd mainly recommend this in normal mode and true Vault Hunter mode because once you get to ultimate Vault Hunter mode, this really becomes obsolete. There's one more glitch that I have. Because of the time that I'm recording this, I don't have anyone else to play with to do the weapon duplication glitch. However, I have a short on my channel with Uncle Zerk where you can see this weapon duplication glitch. If you want to check that out, I have a short linked in my description for that one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, leave a like and consider subscribing. Have a good rest of your day. See ya.